this is Susie for Shang Shang Tech Dice, and I'm here with Patricia Lopez, who you are the head of consumer marketing for Europe for Cisco. Is that right? That is right. I got that right. Excellent. Now, Cisco to me seems like a very business focused company, but I understand that you're going more into the kind of consumer markets for people like me. Can you explain what kind of thing you're doing with that? Well, I think you're right. Cisco's history has very much been around IP and all that stuff in the cloud. Mm. Uh, to make networks uh, work uh, reliably, uh, effectively, and efficiently. So what we've done this in the corporate world that gives us a lot of experience to actually make that also work in the uh, consumer world. Okay. And actually, you'd be surprised to know that uh, today there's probably about 150 million devices, Cisco-made devices, in consumers' home today. Okay. Home networking devices okay. uh, made by Orlinx's brand, right? As well as set tops, ah. DVRs, PBRs made by our Scientific Atlanta brand. So, so some of you might be using them. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Now, I've heard the term visual networking thrown about this morning, um, which sounds very exciting. But what is it? So we think the next big thing is going to be about video, right? And video really meeting social networking and bring those two things together. Okay. So if you look today, there's you know. I don't know, probably about 150 million uh, uh, videos out on YouTube, 65,000 being added every day. Oh my god, so, that's a lot. You know, in that world, how do you find what you really want to watch, yeah. right? So, and we believe that you know, you'll be uh, uh, looking for content not in the old search way, but you'll discover it through communities, through social networking. Okay. So it's really bringing video and social networking together. You okay. get. So it's 2013, what's going on? So I think without going out to 2013, let's work our okay, way there. Slowly. So you know, I think you know what you'll see uh, this year. You'll see a lot of offers that will give you much more freedom in how you enjoy your, your video and your television. Things like you know, follow me uh, uh, TV, so you can watch your uh, uh, begin watching your uh, favorite show uh, in your kitchen while you're having breakfast. Uh, uh, you're moving up to the kids' room. You go into your car. You go oh. into the office independently. If it's your mobile screen, your PC screen, or your uh, uh, actually big plasma television screen. So really having more freedom and choice in terms of how you uh, enjoy video, I think that's something we'll see uh, this year. I think uh, going forward, probably you know next year, you'll see lots more interaction mm -hmm. on your uh, uh, television experience. So you know, similar that you know you chat on your PC, you'll be able to chat on your television, and not just from text based, but actually you know you watch your favorite program. You'll you can see you know all your your friends or people that you know uh, uh, online that are watching the same show, being able to comment live uh, uh, with video. So my mum and me can chat about the latest property program we're watching. Absolutely. That sounds great. And then actually, you know, going towards 2013, I think the next thing is, is going to be something called consumer telepresence. So it's really about video uh, uh, conferencing mm -hmm. at home on steroids. It's closest to the Scotty Beam Me Up type experience that uh, uh, we can think of in the next couple of years. And in general, I think what you'll see is all types of devices being hooked up to the network. Devices that you haven't traditionally thought of in your home, in your kitchen, in your car, in your purse. that are all hooked up to the network that make you have wow. this content at your fingertips. So it's really an extension of um, things like Facebook and uh, communities. Um, I, I think while you know communities like Facebook uh, will go up and down in popularity, mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, I think just the concept of uh, uh, how you discover content uh, in the future is just going to evolve. So you know while in the past you know you've searched and you know searching I think is something that you do when you lose your keys and if you're mm -hmm. like me you'll never find them again. <laughs> um, so you know going on with you know what friends tell you, what your uh, um, <clears throat> family might tell you, but going one step further because. Um, you know, your mom might recommend a movie to you or a video to you and you're not like your mom, mm -hmm. so it's more getting into communities of people that are like you that will recommend things to you, that watch things that you like. I so it's not just friends and family, but it's really communities of okay. interests and people that are like you. That sounds exciting.